A little bit ago, I made this video in which I shared that you should set up these loudness settings so that your video's audio is better suited for YouTube. Well, that video was missing a few key important details. And thanks to Grading Cafe for letting me know this. Turns out, I wasn't completely aware that this was only affecting the loudness meter in Fairlight. I thought that it also affected the mix array here in the edit page. As it turns out, you're only able to check out your video's loudness level here in the Fairlight tab. You should still set up your loudness target level to negative 14 and then go to the Fairlight tab. I did a bit more research and I found a couple of things and this is what I have learned. Now in the Fairlight tab, you have to look at the loudness bar right here before you do anything else. By default, this shows up as zero, which is basically the same as it will be negative 14, right? So your target is to get clo as close to zero as possible. But if you would rather have it be the actual number that you chose in the settings, which is negative 14, click these three dots right here and then make sure that the absolute scale is checked. While you're here, you can also make sure to check the lock metering to transport. That way the meter will reset every time you press play and you don't have to go back and press the reset button, which is basically the reanalyzing of the loudness levels. Now, after you press start, let your playhead do a run over your timeline. Now, this will provide you with a bunch of info that's useful. Now, our goal here is to get our integrated loudness to be as close to negative 14 as we can. Now, there is also a true peak setting that you have to take into account which on YouTube is negative 1.5. But that's another little thing. Now the numbers right here will show up in three colors. Blue, if it is too low. Yellow, if it is within the usable range. And if it's red, that means that you've already gone over too much. Now to get your integrated loudness level closer to negative 14, what you can do is first go to the audio track and click on dynamics. Here, activate the compressor. You can set the threshold to be between negative 20 and negative 25. And then the ratio, you can use 2 to 1 or 3 to 1. If you go to 5 to 1, it might be a bit too much already. Then adjust the makeup gain to get these closer to negative 14. What you can do is here press play and then adjust it, the makeup gain and then press play again. That way it reanalyzes it and you are able to see how it is affecting your timeline. Now add a final touch by adding a limiter to your bus track and then set the ceiling to be between negative 1.8 and negative 2. If this still doesn't reach to negative 14, what you can do is increase the level of the track by a little bit. Now, if you want to watch a longer and more in-depth video on the topic, check out the video that Chadwick made a while back on his channel, Creative Video Tips. And I think that everybody should watch this video to have a better understanding of what to do when adjusting your audio for the loudness levels that are recommended for YouTube. Now, in my case, the true peak never really got to negative 1.5, but as long as it's closer to that mark, then you should probably be fine. I hope that it helps and that you have learned something new. I learned something new and I am sharing it with you. And that is it for today's video. Come back tomorrow for more.